Happy Friday. We are in Blue Springs, Missouri. First review in Blue Springs. Uh, Backyard Burger, a staple of Jackson County. Been around for a while. This is Matt Knatzer. He's a Allstate insurance agent just down the road on 7th Highway here in Blue Springs. Uh, how long have you been in business? Just started our fourth year, uh, February 1st, so super excited. It's been a lot of fun. Fourth year. Uh, yeah, I love him. He takes care of my clients, numerous clients I've sent to him that have all spoken very highly of him later. So I'll include his contact information as always. Um, if you're looking for insurance quotes, it never hurts to get a quote. Uh, reach out to him. He's awesome. I love him. So thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, we're here. Classic burger. Kind of comes lettuce, tomato, onion. You put ketchup on yours. Uh, cheese, mayo. Uh, I have had this. It's been a while. You are not. You know, we gotta need to talk about this a little bit. You are not a burger connoisseur. Self-admitted burger connoisseur. Correct. Not. Correct. So I'm a little nervous about this, but uh, excited at the same time. So. Uh, so we'll take a bite. Uh, you're gonna go score first. One to ten. Uh, decimals, you've seen the reviews, you probably know them, okay. but we're gonna take a bite and see what we got here. Oh, it's nice, man. Mm. I feel like I have ketchup all over my face. No, you don't. Well, maybe you do. I do. It's all part of the raw experience. <laughs> all right, shoot me. Shoot me your rating here. Uh, well, be perfectly honest. Uh, I had very uh, low expectations uh, coming in. So low this, expectations. This this has exceeded my expectations. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna uh, be conservative with my uh, uh, review here, if you will. I'm gonna I'm gonna go six point seven five. Six point seven five. Ooh, we have a it'll wow exact score. 6.75. Um, I think you're pretty much right on. I like this place. I've had it a number of years. It's been a long time. Um, what I like, it's it's not a, it is a slightly toasted bun, but it's not overwhelming like, you just taste the meat, which I like in a fast food burger, um, which is rare in a fast food burger actually, that you don't taste all bun or like a pretzel bun or some other thing they've come up with. Um, I'm gonna go 6.9. I think it's solid. I would get it again, obviously. Uh, 6.9, Backyard Burgers, there's, I think there's two locations left. I think there's one on 23rd Street in Independence, and then out here on 7th Highway in Blue Springs. I think that's it. Yep. Lee Summit is no longer there, right. sadly. Uh, so you're an insurance agent, we're talking off camera. Insurance situations, and it's very timely, so I'm gonna go in real estate mode a little bit here. Um, I have a situation where we are, and this is becoming more common, where buyers take possession a day or two after closing on the property, and it scares everybody because a lot of what ifs are coming into play. What if the house catches on fire? What if they damage the property? Um, we were talking off camera. What is your best recommendation as far as obviously uh, loans, the lender, the mortgage company does require the home insurance to start on the day of closing. For sellers out there who are trying to figure out what we're going to do with our insurance, when should the seller stop their insurance policy if they're closing on the first and they don't get possession for a few days? Yeah, simply Keep that as the seller simply keep that policy in place until uh, everything has closed you know the new owners are in there and there's absolutely no question right. as to who um, has coverage and who doesn't exactly. uh, the seller would always want to cover themselves as would the buyer but right. uh, that no, way everybody's covered yeah, no exceptions there just wait until everything is signed complete all your personal properties out of the property yeah uh, obviously and uh, just leave no gray area at yep. all there agree so a little little real estate lesson there. It's becoming more and more popular as the market is continuing to stay hot. People want every day they can to get out of their houses. Uh, funding does not always recur. That means everybody getting their money does not always recur within an hour or two. So these things are set in place for a reason. Although a lot of people, you know, unfortunately, it's just part of the business right now. Um, three or four years ago, I think it was kind of unheard of. Now it's I, like I told my buyer the other day, I've done it at least 10 times in a year and a half. It seems like almost every one of mine happens like that. Um, especially in Lakeland. So, anyway, uh, all right, you're a big Royals fan. We went to a game, was it last year? I think we went last year, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, Opening day's fast approaching. It is, the weather's not cooperating. But, expectations for this year. You're a realist. I know that, so tell me, what's your, what's your expectations for this year? 
Uh, very quick, 70 wins. 70 wins? Yeah. 70 wins. Yeah. I think the difference between this year and the last, and I think that's a difference of, don't quote me, 10 or 12 wins yeah. to the positive. Uh, I think the difference this year, this team, while they um, may, or not play, may or may not play 500 baseball, I think they're going to be extremely entertaining. I agree with uh, that. A ton of, a ton of speed, a yep. ton of defense. Um, Definitely agree. Some question marks in the bullpen and, and starting pitching, but yeah, I think they're going to be a very, very fun team. I agree. Ton of speed. Uh, Seventy-seven wins. I think they're going to be sneaky good. Um, better than people think. The division's terrible. Absolutely awful. Right, right, right. right. Yep. Um, I think they're going back to what made them really successful in 2012 through. I mean, moderately successful 2012, 13, and then obviously 14 and 15. Right. Uh, Seventy-seven wins. I know that's higher than most people think, but I think they're. I can see a situation where they have another September, like you know, 18 win September, and get yeah. there or something like that. So, uh, anything else you want to touch on? Uh, oh, I do have to. I, I'm gonna surprise him. This I have to give him a little hard time. A couple months ago, he texted me and said, "You know, I don't eat burgers that much, but I just had one of the best burgers I've ever had, and I was so excited to hear where he had it." <laughs> and he said, "Culver's." Yeah. And I said, "There's no way." So I will be doing a review soon for Culver's, just for you. You're gonna get a lot of comments on that. Uh huh. By the way. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, and they should. <laughs> very agreeing, deserving. Very deserving. Agreeing with me. Yeah. No, no chance. Uh, good stuff. I won't Not be part of that review, by the way. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Um, I think we'll wrap it up. Keep it short. Uh, open house this weekend, 641 Lake Point Drive, uh, one to three on Sunday. Uh, make sure you check it out. 445,000. Lee Summit, four bedroom, four and a half bath, uh, finished basement. Uh, I think it'll. I think that's it. Uh, if you want to come to an open house this weekend, we're having one in Lakewood. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Very yeah. quickly. Oh, I have not seen you. Um, Pub passes. I haven't seen you in what the oh, teams boy. would call a fat minute. So there's your Christmas <laughs> present. Oh well, thank you. Uh, Pub passes. Ooh. Pub passes. Merry like, Christmas. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks. Looks like me and Kate are going drinking. So, babysitters, welcome. Uh, Keely, that's you. So anyway, wrap it up. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, hope we don't get too much snow, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Stuff.